We are at Grenada. Grenada, can you believe Grenada? American Crappie Trail. This is the beginning of the pre-fish for the American Crappie Trail at Grenada in September, and I am excited, can't wait to do it. Um, currently, we're in about 50th uh, position for the Angler of the Year. Top 100 get to the championship goal is to maintain at least that and uh, do a great showing here at Grenada Lake. So this is day one. Vertical fishing, we gotta find them. That's number one. So I'm stoked about being, Grenada is my favorite lake. If you've been watching three pound fishing, you realize that this is my favorite lake. And uh, I got my three pounder here in March. So that was an awesome experience and I'm hoping and just hoping, and I know it's a little tougher in the summer, that that will occur again uh, this week. So it's just gonna be me. I'm doing it alone. I'm going solo. I love it. Uh, it's a great experience. And um, I honestly think there's, uh, it, it is my opinion that the future of crappie fishing will be a single uh, team kind of format. Uh, that's just the way that, you know, live scope allows you to do uh, you can target one fish don't have to worry about it. maybe you have a secondary person on the boat i'm not totally ruling that part out but i think the future is definitely going to be um, one but we're here at grenada excited stay tuned we're about to push some fish in the boat boom thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies ah there you are I'll tell you, one of the most important things when you're out here is sun protection. So I always try to do the best thing I can. I've got a hundred, <laughs> it's kids max. Let me just tell you, ain't no sun getting through it. Put it on my feet because as you know, I love fishing without any shoes on. That's the ticket. If you haven't tried it, try it. Doesn't get any better. And uh, we're out here on a beautiful day. We gotta get our sunglasses, our sunglasses on, and uh... All right, I got good news and I got bad news. One is, you're always gonna learn something when you come to Grenada. And I went up against the sand thing and it looks like I plugged my live well aerator plug in the back of the, back of the boat. It won't run. I can hear it running, trying to, but it's sucking up sand. I did catch my first fish though. So that's the first Grenada fish of the of the trip. So we are going to it's on it's a it's a one and a quarter. We're gonna let him go though. Since I can't do my live well, I really wanted to check on my live well to see how it was performing, keeping the fish alive, but we'll have to do that tomorrow. I don't think it's a hard fix to to get that fixed, but we won't wor we won't worry about it. And if that doesn't work. It's okay because I brought the cooler with the oxygen tank and I brought it just in case, you know, it did get hot. It's gonna be hot this weekend, so I figured better safe than sorry, which was, I guess. All right, when I get back to a lake that I'm familiar with, a little bit familiar with, Grenada, um, I'm obviously gonna visit the points that I'm familiar with. I'm gonna go there first. I'm also gonna go to points on the lake and kind of get a vibe as to where these fish are. First and foremost, we wanna know how deep they are. And on this day, it was definitely 12. That's how it's done right there. That's freaking awesome. That is a hog. I've lost my, my fishing with stupid six pound line. <laughs> Let's see what it weighs. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. That's a big fish. I'm guessing right below two, two pounds. Maybe two pounds, we'll see. Gosh dang, he's like 167. Wow. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll let you see the release. Well, a 165 just broke my six pound line. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be switching that up.
it's interesting. Um, you don't really hammer it, but uh, it's a good feeling. It's very much like Rin Lake, I guess, but uh, much bigger fish. That's freaking awesome. He was just sitting there on the log. Now, not a big fish, but again, we're just getting started here trying to figure out colors. So that's probably 1.3, I'm guessing. Gosh, they're really way in late. light. That's only a pound, folks. All right, well. All right, we're gonna change up the bait. This bait definitely works, it's a hair jig. We're gonna go with something different. So for those interested in going to Grenada, Mississippi, I can tell you there's some great VRBOs that are around here, uh, and I've stayed them in the past. You'll have to check out the other videos to figure that, to find those out. But I stayed at the Hampton Inn. There's also a Comfort Inn and Suites. It's roughly about five miles away from Southern Illinois. Um, but it's a great town because there's a lot of good food options. Um, it's got pretty much every amenity you could want. It's still great. Uh, Great town, great town, great fishing. All right, we're gonna go look for a different spot. Look at this fish. Oh, that's a freaking hammer. Look at that. God dang, that's awesome. That is a freaking pig. Let's weigh that. Update on the live well. It's working now. So I guess the sand got knocked loose when I went and took a ride. One point six zero. So we're gonna go ahead and use him as the test test dummy. That's awesome. All right, as we make our way to our next spot, let me just talk to you a little bit about my experience on Grenada on the first day. You know, obviously, being a solo angler, it's a little stressful. You have safety in mind. You have what boat ramp do you go to to accommodate that. There are a lot of things uh, that are going through my mind. But at the end of the day, uh, you figure it out and you take your time. You always take your time. You never are in a rush. That's what I'm learning really quick. My focus today is bait color. Uh, what do I need to use to catch crappie? That is pretty much my focus. I'm also trying to at least identify the spots that I already know in the lake. Are they a game? Are they a position for the tournament? So that's my goal. And I'm gonna maximize and I'm gonna take advantage of every minute I have on the lake, which during the ACT, it's all the way up to six o'clock, get off the lake. So great experience, a lot of big slaps, gonna go in the boat. So it's always interesting going to a lake that you're not that familiar with. You have to learn their tactics, how they're fishing for them, the depth, the bait, everything. It's a it's a full-time job once you get there, but a lot of fun no, nonetheless. And I have a great time targeting one individual fish uh, throughout the day to get to my total seven. At the end of this episode, by the way, I'm going to show you exactly what I got for the first day, um, which I felt pretty good. I felt pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Bam! That's awesome. Hog right there. That's a hog. That's a great fish right there. Awesome time right there. Thank you, fish. Awesome, those are just absolute freaking pigs. Watch it away, 165. 165.
That is amazing, that one. 145. That is an absolute freaking hammer. Let's see. That shows you how skinny they are. That's a 15 incher that weighs basically one and a half pounds. Wow, that's amazing. Beautiful fish. So we're having a great first day on Grenada. No doubt about it. We got invited to a special event, a grand opening of PTG in Grenada. This is a special guy, Ron Upchurch and his family have opened up a crappie store in Grenada. So anytime you have an issue in Grenada, this is the place to go to. Um, grand opening, Wally Marshall. Eh, let's take you to it. So PTG is owned by the Upchurch family. They're a great family, okay? They have baits, fishing rods. Yes, they have Ozark Rod, three pound fishing elite series. They are in the house at PTG. It's a great family, great fun, great community. If you're in Grenada area, check out PTG. You will not be disappointed. Great family, great friends. Obviously, look at all these people. Just a good time. Do you see the head? <laughs> oh, that's just flat out fun. Bam! Folks, that's gonna end it. I'll take a picture, show you guys the big dogs at the end of this practice day, but I appreciate you joining. And uh, what a great day, Grenada. Warming up for the ACT, that's another awesome looking fish that's a 13 and a half every bit of it thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies all right just like i promised i'll show you the i'll show you the big fish and of course i don't get it on camera but it's a i believe it's a 205 that's the big dog thanks for watching folks Please subscribe, that's a monster.